Hey everybody, we are back for another video today. Uh, today we're going to work on a little science experiment. Uh, you have probably heard that plants need a few things to survive, right? Water, sun, soil, and air, even if we don't always think about it. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about that water that they need. So you can see I've got some celery here. And some of you may have done this experiment before. Um, but if you want to do this at home, all you need is a little bit of celery, uh, some glasses of water, and a little bit of food coloring. So i got three colors here that we're going to use. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the celery. Uh-oh. Board sticking to our towel here. You're going to take the celery, and you're just going to cut this bottom root part off there, just like so. And you can actually save that back and uh, actually have another experiment in a couple weeks that we're going to talk about using celery bits like that. So you're going to want to pick the pieces of celery with some leaves coming off of them. So these are all good options here uh, like this. And what we're eventually going to do, but not quite yet, is we're just going to keep them right in those cups. Now, what we want to do is see how water moves through plants. And to do that, we are actually going to dye this water and see how that changes the celery. So we're going to add some blue to this one. And you probably don't need to use quite that much food color, but we want to see if it really gets bright. I'm going to add some red to this one. And for our last one, we're going to add a little bit of purple. We'll put the lids back on here just so we don't make a big mess on accident. Set those to the side. Now you can just you can stir these up with a spoon, or I'm just going to use the actual celery here. Stir up our blue. We'll just kind of lean that over. Well, let's use this one. Stir up our red. And you know what? It's a little bit more translucent than I want it to be, so I'm going to add uh, just a few more drops in there. Why not? And then, oh, I don't know, let's, uh, let's use one of these other big ones, but I'm going to cut it just a little bit shorter because our cups are so small here. We're going to set that right in our purple. Now, this is going to take a few hours before you start to notice any change in our leaves. Uh, so we're just going to set these to the side. We've got some Hollywood movie magic. Well, we have already started this experiment. Uh, we started some yesterday. Let's take a look at what those look like. Here's our purple. So you can see these leaves and the celery itself has actually turned a pinkish purple. Not to be confused with actual pink celery. We also have our red, which looks a little similar, but you can tell it's a little bit darker. And then lastly, really vibrantly, we have blue. And you can see it's not only celery you can do this with. I like celery just because it's easy to see. You can also use things like lettuce. Uh, and so this blue is really, really noticeable. Uh, you can see along the edges there. You can see the stripes around it. And what you're seeing is actually the water moving through the plant. Now it moves too slowly for us to actually see the water move but we can see how it changes colors slowly over time. And if you leave it in for longer, you can get even stronger results. So these over here, we started last Friday. So these have been going for quite a while. And this green, I think, is, is the funniest because the celery is already green, but it gives it sort of an unnatural vibrancy. Uh, let's take one of these out, this blue, because it's so easy to see. Let's cut the celery open See what it actually looks like under there. Uh, now this food dye will stain 
whatever you get it on. So just go ahead and be careful that you're not getting that all over your nice clothes. So you can go ahead and see the bottom there and it all just kind of looks blue. And that's because some of the blue dye settled in the bottom of the cup. But if we cut that, you'll actually be able to see the individual, uh, they're not veins, but that's what you can sort of think of it as, as veins that the water runs through the celery. Uh, so what happens is this is the plant's vascular system. And that plant normally takes up water through the roots, travels up the stem and into the leaves of the celery plant, which you can see in it just like this, you know, the whole thing is blue. Um, <clears throat> those leaves actually have tiny pores in them, just like our skin has pores. And those open up to let water out so that more water can travel up. That is how water, and not just water, but also nutrients and minerals and sugars uh, move throughout the plant to keep it healthy and well fed. Uh, so you can see the blue on there. We can see that on other ones too. Let's uh, take a look at our lettuce here. And same thing, although a little bit harder to see. The, uh, the little veins that the water goes through on the lettuce are not quite as big as the celery. But we can take a look at, let's take a look at this red one here. And again, you can see those nice little red veins in there. But not just there, you can see it all the way up through the plant. And that's our experiment for today, y'all. Just like I said, it takes a couple hours for years at home to make that change. Um, and about a day to really start to notice the color changes. So thanks for joining us. And we'll be back with more tomorrow.